Hey guys, what most, what most people do with the golf club is on the way back they snatch it and the way through they flip it. So everything you do in your practice should be promoting to get forward lean and impact. To Because everybody has this natural flip instinct because you know like throwing a baseball or shooting a basketball, this flipping thing comes in every sport other than golf and maybe baseball too, but I'm not really sure about that. But even in baseball, I think you wanna do it. Anyway, so this is a great drill, training aid that you can make or even find somewhere that is gonna just, Tiger Woods always talks about he wanted to change his release pattern. Everyone has this bad release pattern of snatching it and flipping it rather than taking it back and holding it, which is what you want. So what this is is a, uh, you take a tall, really tall T, like this, and you put it into, see it's in this piece of metal. They have these already at this golf course because they don't want people to steal these tees. So, but it's just like tin that you can buy at like a hardware store, and like tin snips with a circle in it, and then a screw. So check that out. And what you're gonna, we're gonna do is you're gonna line this up to your back ankle, and then you're gonna put the ball in the normal spot, and what you're gonna do is on the way back, I want you to hit this with the heel of the club, like this, and then on the way through, you're gonna miss it, go over it like this with the toe of the club, so you come from the inside. So you're, th you're gonna think heel, touch on the way back, and over it on the way through. What that's gonna do is make you take it back in one piece, and then see the forward shaft lane that you'll have on the way through, I'll show you right now so it lines up on this is an eight iron on your back ankle put normal ball position so here the thing the uh, you got the tall tee on your back ankle normal ball position here and you're gonna touch it and and it's also really good to do this without a ball uh, to, and put like, if you find cigarette butts, put those here, hit those off. Little pieces of broken tees or other things like that. It's good to do that first. And then all you're gonna do is, so you want here to touch it there, because everybody's gonna do this. They're gonna miss it on the way back and hit it on the way through. This kind of move might seem familiar to you if you're a crappy golfer. You're gonna go this, this. What you want is touch it on the way back, miss it on the way through. If you slow-mo that, you'll see it's the lag that's happening on the way down and impacts like this rather than back here. This is where every bad player is at impact. This is where every great player is at impact. So you want to go. So I'll show you. And that's just a perfect shot, little draw very high eight iron but really perfect so like i said it's really good to do this with here's a, a dead t put that where the ball would be you can get real extreme especially if you're not using a ball and try but sometimes you can get too wrapped up in what the ball is going to do so it's good to do things without a ball at all so go together so you touch it on the way back on the heel of the club and then you take the toe of the club over the tee. If you did it wrong, you would go like this. You would miss it, hit it. So here's a cigarette butt. I just put that there. And this is the right way to do it. You hit it, then miss it. Hit it with the heel, and then miss it with the toe going over it, like this. And if you slow that down, you'll see it's really nice and one piece on the way back and lagging it to this forward impact, forward shaft lean and impact. So try that. The prescription for that would, I would definitely say do that without a ball. Um, if you can do it 50 times a day for, for a week. And uh, like, you know, Tiger was working so hard to change his release pattern but that's what you have to do if you have this this hit impulse with the right wrist you gotta you gotta do extreme 
amount of practice and extreme things to get rid of it and make your impulse to hit the ball still have that bent right wrist, flat left wrist. So try that out. I, I really think it'll help. It's helped me a lot.